Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got a property. There's a train going by in the background, but I've got a property for you where you're not going to hear any trains. This one is in Mendocino County, California. The Green Triangle, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so north of San Francisco, I got the map pulled up. Let's make this. Let's make this nice and big. This is the map. This map is on RealVacantLand.com, and it's called Map Search. And you can zoom in on this map and you can look at properties scattered across the country that are almost always the cheapest in the area or the best quality, best price ones in the area at least. And if they're not, I'm, I'm hammering on them. I keep lowering the prices, making the terms easier until somebody buys them. And so that's what I'm doing today. I got this one in Mendocino County, California. It's been up for sale for a while and nobody bought it. So it's time to lower the price. I think I'm lowering it down enough that it's uh, it makes me want to cry. But somebody's going to get a deal. So here's Willits. There's a little town, Valley of Willits, and then you've got the hills over here. This is called Brook Trails Vacation Village. If we zoom out a little bit, we've got uh, Fort Bragg over here, so you can take the highway through the Jackson State Forest over Fort Bragg. They've got uh, all kinds of fishing and beaches and stuff. And these, these hills are full of like big redwood trees, big beautiful trees. Not little bushy things that people call trees. I mean, full on trees. Like, good luck chopping them down. They're dangerously scary sized trees. And um, so, Willits is the town. Willits has uh, natural, you know, not a Whole Foods, but a like a community size Whole Foods, um, organic fruits and vegetables, and lots of specialty products. So you can get really good groceries in Willits. And it's not like gas station food. You can get really good stuff. There's uh, supplies to build a house right there in town. And uh, you can go make it happen. This is just a couple miles away. So from Willits, you take these little roads up into the hills. And the one I want to talk about goes out of the valley, goes up Ridge Road. Ridge Road, once you go up on Ridge Road, there's no more sewer line. There's still water line, power line, and um, phone lines. But no sewer lines up here. And so you put in a septic tank for these ones. And out of the ones that I've had in the neighborhood, all the ones that have sold have been along Ridge Road. That's like the desired place from people that are buying land from me. I think you get some good views up there. And so the one I wanted to talk about here is overlooking Willits Creek. So there's some good topography. And this one is out on a, on a spur looking out over some big time green valleys. So I got another one on the other side of this valley. But this one is on this spur. So you, if you go out Ridge Road and you take Blue Blue Lake Court to, I don't know the name of this spur, Blue Lake Road. So Ridge Road to Blue Lake Road to, oh, that's the end of Blue Lake Road. So Blue Lake Road ends there and then it goes to Blue Lake Court. So let's switch it over to satellite here a little bit. Somewhere, yeah, here we go, there's a button. So switch it to satellite. And you can see I got a couple properties to choose from. So if you're going to look at this one, you might as well look at the other ones in the area. I'm offering owner financing and sweet deals on those ones too. But this one, I'm lowering the price on. Uh, I'm asking $4,999. I sold some of these like well over $10,000. And um, I just got too many of them in the same area. So here's the property, $4,999. It's the end of the cul-de-sac. You could probably park your boat there, your RV there. I don't know if the neighborhood's cool with that, but nobody's going to go down this road. It's, it's, you get the whole road to yourself, and uh, this is the lot. So let's see if we got street view here. Where'd the little guy go? Maybe there's no street view here. Oh, he's up here. He's hiding in the other corner. Somebody moved my street view guy. Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, let's just drive down the road and see what it looks like. We'll start here. It's just a little spur. And uh, here's Blue Lake Road. And where'd the road go? Is that it? Let's, uh, let's go back. So this might be the turnoff and then... If you keep going this way, it's Blue Lake. Yeah, Blue Lake. So we're at the end of Blue Lake. Everyone else is going to turn off. Nobody's going to come up here unless they're lost. Because this is going to be your driveway. From there, the turn off is like 
10, 20 houses or something will drive by there. And then this is, look at this, it's just trees, trees, trees. Look at nice thick trees, both sides of the road. Like a tree fell down and somebody moved it out of the road, but nobody has to because you're the only one that uses the road. We'll keep going, Blue Lake Road, Blue Lake Road, what happened? Are we at the end of the road? I think that's the end of the road. This is where the lot would be. So there's a storm drainage thing right there. Look at this, this is your road. The sun is shining right in the camera. Let's look at these trees. The whole place is just trees, 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 trees. So right now it's probably just used for like teenagers to come see what a condom feels like or something. And um, nobody uses it. You get the whole place to yourself. A couple houses down here, but nobody makes this turn. They go, all go this way. They go this way and they go to other houses. This road comes down a couple more houses out here. And then this is all uh, nature preserve from your house down to the creek. And I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing you could like walk your dog in there and stuff. It looks like there might be some trails. Maybe off of this one there's a trail. Like a hiking trail maybe. To get back in there. It even looks paved. It might be a fire access trail. To get down to the creek and switchbacks going down to the creek. And go check out Willits Creek. So drive your mountain bike around. It's a good set of woods. Solid set of woods. Not that far from San Francisco. So let's click on this uh, property. Let's go into the listing of it. Um, hopefully I got the right one. Just click on... Yeah, I just changed the price, but I did it wrong. It says 4999 down, blah, 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 blah. It's, I'm, I'll fix it right after this, so it'll be $4,099, period. Nothing else, just $4,099. I got to buy it now at $4,099. So basically 5000 bucks for a, a wooded lot in Mendocino County, California. So the ad has... Uh, some information. They want you to build a thousand square foot house or bigger. That's the main restriction in the area. And then uh, that's about it. I mean, they've got water to hook into. There's water lines there. There's supposed to be power lines. Power lines might be over here. You might have to stretch the power lines down the rest of the road. Let's take a look and see what the power lines are like at this intersection. There's a power line right there. There's a water box right there too. So let's figure out which way we're looking and see what happens here. So it looks like the power line does a turn there. Yeah, so your house would be at the end of this road. So they'd probably have to add a couple power poles to get to the end of the road. But you know what happens, this neighborhood has a set fee for power. So I don't think it matters where you are, you get power. It's like $10,000 or something, 10,000 or 11,000 bucks. It's on the neighborhood website exactly how much it is and it doesn't matter if the lines there or not. It's my understanding of it. Um, but the power is just right there down the street so they can't squawk that much. And then uh, the architect, the local architect that uh, does the neighborhood is Bob Axe and his phone number is in the ad and he's available every Thursday afternoon and um, He's going to tell you, yeah, a thousand square foot. You got to have a thousand square foot, and it's got to be like a normalish looking house or cabin. Can't be a spaceship. Uh, you know, just build a regular housey house and a thousand square foot or more, and you're good to go. And then there's the website on here about the neighborhood, and they talk about hooking into the utilities, how much it costs to hook into the utilities. It's like ten, just over ten thousand bucks for water. It's just over ten thousand bucks for electricity. And it's just over ten thousand bucks for sewer. This this one doesn't have sewer, so you'd have to do septic, and you're probably paying, you know, maybe even less than sewer for, to hook up a septic system. You get one of the local septic guys to go hook it up. And um, there's GPS on here, so let's do that. Let's open it up in Google Maps by clicking on the GPS, and then we can see the topography of the lot. And you can play with this too. Um, 
by clicking on the GPS in there, holding down the control button, you can look at topography. So it looks like there's a, you know, it's Blue Lake is going downhill to this, um, this, uh, you know, your turnaround, your your driveway basically, because no one else is building there. And then there's a shelf here, and it looks out over the stream. There's a bunch of trees in the way. You might have to do some midnight pruning to get some views. Um, but uh, you know, or keep the trees. Heck, I like the trees. Keep the trees. You know, build a house in the woods, total privacy, and nobody to bother you. These people are going to be a long ways away. We can measure the distance through thick woods. The closest neighbor is, oh, like 600 something feet. It's a little closer than I thought, but still, there's a bunch of woods in there. And um, yeah, just build your house out here on the shelf overlooking the creek, just like these guys are building on a shelf off the side of the road. And these guys and these guys and these guys, neighbors all over the place building in this, along this road, you're just a little further out so you get the most privacy. And this road goes down, down, down. You probably get in some more trails down here at the bottom, I would guess. Go check out what's in the creek. My kids would love that. Um, yeah, so let's go back to the listing. Oh, I was going to do, yeah, so I want to do that. I want to put San Francisco in there. Well, let's do Willits first. Willits, California, 18 minutes, seven and a half mile drive to town. So that's where you can get supplies. I like fishing, so I'm pulling up Fort Bragg. I mean, you guys probably don't care, but I like to go fishing. So I'd be looking at where I could launch my boats. 42 miles, just over an hour drive up through the mountains to get out into the ocean. I mean, that's uh, it's totally doable. I'd do more than that around here for different launches. Um, then San Francisco. So this would be downtown San Francisco. So we could shoot down the 101. I'm guessing they'll take us down the 101. And this is like three in the afternoon, so the traffic's happening. And it's 146 miles to downtown San Francisco. And then because of the traffic, they're saying three hours and three minutes. But without the traffic, I mean, you might be, I'm sure you're under three hours, like from a San Francisco run, if you did it at the right time of day. And there wasn't any crazy traffic or construction and stuff. Um, yeah, so you could shoot up here after work on Friday and hang out in the woods in your cabin. And then you could go back on Sunday evening and go back to work, go make some money. But you could have a second place in the country, in the woods, away from most everybody. Have some privacy, relaxation without the noise from the city. Um, and some crazy fresh air. Just think about all those trees around there cleaning the air. It's got to be some really good fresh air. Um, here is a little market that's near there. There's a post office, there's a high school, gas station, uh, jack-in-the-box in case you got some midnight cravings, and uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other supplies around the area, but just to kind of point out stuff that's there, I'm going to fix that price to $4,999 for your own property to go build a cabin on in the woods in the redwood trees in Mendocino County, California. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke.